friends, hope you're all doing well. I'm coming to you after a long time and I'm sure like you're all staying positive and you're all doing good. We often think about that why we really don't get success and possibly that is why we can see that there are a lot of authors who write book on success and people are always eager to know that why we don't get success. Many a times people talk that we may not be doing the proper thing or we are not motivated enough to get success or we have to do the time management or we have to become more effective in our work or sometimes people end up saying that you are really not that talented. But what is exactly required in life to become successful? If people are having great ideas and they are motivated but still why they cannot guarantee the success. In this video today, my friends, I'm going to tell you something which is going to be a game changer for your life. So I would really request you all to see the video till the end so that you can really understand that what it takes to become successful in life and what exactly we do not do for which we often end up not becoming successful. We always think that sometimes Maybe it is our destiny to get success, but is it so that we are really destined to success just by doing nothing? Not exactly. You have to really understand that it is not the goals, it is not the plans, and it is not the motivation which really makes you successful. If something really can make you successful, my friend, it is just your discipline. Yes, my friend, you heard it right. You have to follow a proper discipline. Discipline is the key to the success which we have all cherished to achieve. You may have seen great leaders. You may have seen the great captains of the team. But have you ever seen a captain or a leader who is not disciplined to achieve success? Yes, my friend. Discipline is that basic thing but we all miss we all neglect we just think that if we have enough of motivation we just think that if we enough have the proper planning and we have the proper goal setting we're going to get success but in reality if you are not disciplined it is not easy to get the success it is said in this way that if a person has got all the good things but the person is not disciplined, the person doesn't follow the proper rules, he or she doesn't follow the given set of discipline, doesn't have the self-discipline more precisely, he or she cannot become successful in his or her field of life. So why people does not get discipline? Discipline is what and how exactly we define that? My friends, we can decide or we can really understand discipline as the awareness of our mind to take an action. It is basically the effectiveness of the action which we really do in our life. But when the action is not being taken on time, it is delayed in implementing, then it is called as procrastination. So there is a difference between the people who have the awareness of action but they really implement it on time and they say that yes what I have to do right now I'm going to do it right away. What I have to do tomorrow I'm going to do it today. That is where the discipline comes in. A good leader knows the importance of discipline. A good leader knows that how effective it is to do things on time. You may have a great agenda, you may have a great dream, but it is really not important that you are going to get success. For that you have to be disciplined. So what exactly is there? Why people do not get disciplined? People often say that discipline is just some set of rules and regulation, but it is more than that. Discipline is an everyday activity. Discipline does not have any option. Discipline is the awareness of the mind to do things on time. Discipline is the urge to do things as it is. It is the priority which you really need to give to yourself. Do you have the discipline in your life? 
if you really don't have the discipline in your life, you cannot become successful. Just mark my words. If you really want to understand that what exactly it takes to become disciplined in life, for that you have to understand that one needs to work hard to really follow the discipline. If you have made it a point that you have to sleep on time, then you make sure that you really sleep on time without really getting addicted by tuning the television. If you think that it's a Sunday morning and you have got enough to do, you have got the time to go to the gym and you have to exercise, then you really should get up on time and go to the gym without spending some little more time on your bed, getting attracted by little more sleep. So these are the things which really sometimes pulls us down. Many a times people think that if we really are disciplined, then we have to take a lot of pain. But my friend, where is the gain if you don't have a pain? So don't really hesitate that today if you have to sacrifice something. Discipline is all about waking up early. Discipline is all about working hard extra in your office. Discipline is all about doing your things on time. If you have made a point of calling 10 people on a day, if you really can finish calling 10 people, or maybe if you can call 15 people in a day, then you would find that you really come with more confidence. Discipline is all about working an extra mile. Many a times we have seen people always procrastinate. They think that why to do it today? We can do it tomorrow. And then they really let go into that way of thinking that it is something which is very easy. But remember, discipline is all about taking it confidently and just doing it as per the time and taking it seriously. So if you really want to become successful in life, make sure that you have the discipline and you follow the discipline in your life. There are three things which I would request you to do. The first thing is make it a point that discipline is actually a regular thing. So you cannot just think of discipline in a week or in a month. If you have made it a rule that you have to do the three things, then those do three things are going to be very important in life. Prioritize yourself, understand that what exactly are the immediate deliverables for your primary responsibility. And the third thing, you must make a deadline that these things should be done by you. And if you have not accomplished that, then what exactly is the reason why you have not done so that you can follow it up the next day and again you can make sure that you follow that work. And the second thing is that the discipline is something which is a regular activity. It's not one day or two day thing which has to go day in day out with you till the time you attain your success and till your next set for your next milestone so it will be a continuous activity my friend and finally you should always understand that discipline doesn't have any alternative there is no shortcut for discipline so if you really see that in life there are many things which keeps on happening people always often think that if I can do it easily then probably there is nothing. If you imagine that you don't have to go to office tomorrow, if you imagine that you don't have to go to the school, you don't have to do the work, how life should have become? Life should really have become boring. There shouldn't have been no interest, no charm in living. So life is interesting as long as we are in discipline, we are following things. I can tell you a story of a small boy when he was flying a kite and he could see that a string is holding the kite. He at once said his father, that father, I think that the kite can go much higher. It is the string which is holding it back. The father smiled at the boy and it said that you can release the string and what happens? After some time, the boy was curious. He let the string go out of his hand. And to his dismay, he suddenly found that the kite which was soaring high in the sky, suddenly it fell down. And some boys, after some time, tore that kite. He was very sad. He looked at his father and said, that father, I was wrong. So like that small boy, many of us have to realize that sometimes it is that discipline which we think is really pulling us down. It is actually taking us high. The discipline is just like the railway track. If the railway tracks are not there, the train cannot move. 
In the same way, my friends, the disciplines are the path. Disciplines are the way to go ahead in life. So sometimes we feel that the things which are pulling us down, it is actually keeping us high and helping us to move ahead in life. I hope you have liked this video. With this positive note, I would like to take your permission. Till the time I come for one more positive and inspiring video like this. If you have still not subscribed my channel, go down and click on the bell button so that you get notified for this kind of motivational videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay well, stay positive. Bye-bye.